Hello everyone and welcome to ATARC Reviews. Today our video is going to be a little bit short. We're going to be taking a look at the earbuds, the Moondrop PU2. Uh, for those of you who don't know the difference between earbuds or like this one and ear in ear monitors or IMs is um, usually in the way they sit in your ear. In, in, in ear monitors or IMs are uh, usually like deeper in the ear canal. Um, of course, I'm not talking about etymotic, I'm talking about the normal IMs. So usually there's a bit of difference, difference in the frequency response, uh, difference in the sound, difference in the comfort, and so on. Um, noise isolation is one of the biggest reasons um, musicians on stage use IMs instead of earbuds. Still, many people uh, love earbuds and they have their fans. Uh, I have to admit, before I start this uh, review, I'm not a fan of earbuds in general. I'm not one of these people who love earbuds, uh, but I've had used them extensively for years, uh, literally for years since I was a teenager. Um, I remember like we didn't have in-ear monitors at the time and I used earbuds extensively until I began to know about headphones, uh, with Sony Walkmans and stuff like that. So anyway, um, now we got this uh, U-Drop U2 from Moondrop. Uh, let's see how, how um, it looks like and what it offers for us, at least uh, from the basic build perspective and, and so on. The, the unboxing is a very simple one. You get this simple pouch bag and then you get the equivalent of ear tips like these like filters, uh, mesh filters or something like that. And then you get a nice cable. Like you can see, it has a double weave. It's a two cable, uh, two wire cable, 3.5. Um, they don't provide 4.4, I think. And surprisingly, there is no cable cinch. I'm not sure why it would have been more comfortable to include it, but that's what we get. And then we get the earbuds themselves. And as you can see here, uh, it has this paper clipped brace design. And let me tell you, like I can bench like 350 pounds easily on a weekend, but I cannot, no matter how much I press, cannot bend them in any way, shape or form. This speaks to the quality of the design. Um, so it looks simple. It looks like a paperclip that you can break, but let me assure you, no matter how much you try, you will never be able to. Another thing is this design allows you to like easily, like you can adjust the slider right here to go down and up, and you can easily put your finger right here so that when, when they are in your ear, you can put your finger and it's easily adjustable. Now, the earbuds themselves um, are a bit trickier to get a comfortable fit with. Like Mudra provides a manual that you can read here. It has instructions how to get a good fit. I follow that and usually I follow how to get a good fit, but um, the fit is going to be tricky. You're not going, like with this earbud, in my opinion, you're not going to get the passive noise isolation you get with in-ear in monitors. Um, like even a basic one is going to provide you much more um, noise isolation, which is a, an advantage of IMs in general. You have here um, two vents, which like also like make the noise isolation uh, a bit lower than average in my opinion. You can hear your surroundings. That's how I would say it. You put these in your ear, no matter how good they fit, uh, it's going to sound a bit, um, you're going to hear your surroundings. That's what I want to say. And this is the size of the earbud you're going to put in your ear. I have large ears myself. I'm not sure how it compares to other earbuds, but this is on the larger side of things, in my opinion. Uh, now, let's talk about the sound. We finished talking about the build quality, which is important. Of course, if it's not comfortable, you're never going to use it, right? But it is comfortable, actually. But let's talk about the sound here. Um, let me say first, as I said, the design of the earbuds versus IMs is going to be different specifically in the bass frequencies. Um, of course, there's a, a difference also in the treble attenuation, but bass is one of the things that most people are going to notice because earbuds have a roll-off, an early bass or some bass roll-off. They don't provide that that response that you get from IMs because literally IMs are provide you with a very good seal, right? So here, surprisingly to me, the opposite is true. The bass response is huge. And as you see from the graph, which I will provide to you, you will see the bass response is huge. 
And let me tell you, it's not only about the quantity here. The quality is very good. There is a lot of bass slam. There is a lot of thump. There is a lot of energy. Um, it's very engaging and it's very detailed at the same time. Um, average texture uh, compared to IMs, but you know, and sub bass is not that great. But the bass itself is very prominent. I would say it's the most dominant frequency and the standout feature for this earbud. Now. The not good part I would say about it is that when we move on to the lower mid range, <clears throat> you will be you will you'll be finding like me that there is a huge <laughs> a huge bass bleed that goes on. Uh, the bass doesn't stop. It, it and before you speak anything, I've tried all the fits and positions in my ear with different filters with different these like equivalent to ear tips. I've tried everything. All right, I've gotten a good seal where I know it is close to my eardrum, it is deep, and I got the shallow fit. I've tried everything. I spend some time before I say something like this, and I still say, the better fit I get, the more this effect began to be noticeable. The, the bass began to be more strong, and it began to cover the vocals. To exacerbate this condition, actually, the vocals are a bit recessed. They are they are like far away. They're clear, not not that clear, honestly. But they're clean. Let's say they're clean, but they're so far away that you're struggling to hear them. And the bass doesn't help. The bass covers a lot of the frequencies, so you kind of understand what I mean here. Um, and a simple example of this is drum kicks. Very simple example, a drum kick, which you can find in rock and hip hop and rap, a drum kick sounds very muffled. This is due to the pulled back or recessed mid range and the over empowering bass response. So it's a double edged sword. Um, if we move on to the treble, again, there is a big dip. You can see a big dip on the upper treble region. And again, it shows here uh, cymbal strikes, hi hats, they sound. They sound a bit dark. They sound slightly muffled. They don't give that uh, clarity. They don't give that resolution. They don't give that feeling that you get when you listen to other earbuds or IMs. Uh, again, I tried every fit you could think of. So, you know, that's just my opinion about it. And I have large ears, so these should have fit me. Um, but overall, like when I'm talking about these things, the sound signature is enjoyable. It's not bad. Actually, I have noticed that I've enjoyed them and I could listen. I've been losing myself listening to the music for a long time. Like I've spent like 20 minutes and not notice that I've been listening to them. Although they don't have the clarity I want, they don't have the detail I want. Speaking of technicalities and detail retrieval, um, it's actually good in some frequencies and average in the others. As I said, in the bass department, very good detail, very good technicalities, very good imaging. When you go on to the higher frequencies, to the mid-range, as I said, it's a bit recessed, so the detail is a bit lacking or maybe average. As I said, you can even struggle to hear the frequencies themselves, the instruments themselves, the electric guitars, the, the sounds like that. Like, uh, it's a bit back. Like, if you guys listen to rap or hip-hop, this is one of the best things that will show you that this I am, because you'll notice the bass is very high but the vocals are very far away so that is kind of the description i would describe it um again it's enjoyable because you're listening to the good bass to the good beats in the music so it's it's very fun uh, it's not harsh in any way so uh, completely which is one element that adds to the enjoyment of this earbud it's very very enjoyable very smooth sounding a little bit dark, you could say that. Maybe I would agree. Um, it's just, like I said, it's a bass-focused sound signature with recessed vocals or pullback vocals uh, and not a lot of treble to, to keep it from sounding sharp. Uh, it's not V-shaped. It's, it's not something like that. There's just a huge focus on the bass and lower mid-range. The lower mid-range gives it some of that clarity to the vocals a, a little bit. But again, you notice there is a dip going on at two to 4K and then you get to the upper mid range and you get the same effect. So uh, that's it. Soundstage wise, um, there are average width, 
I would say that. I would say, yeah, it's good. It's it's not narrow or intimate, no. Surprisingly, it, it's a bit average. This has to do with the design of the earbuds themselves, I think. Uh, but even if you get a very good seal with them, still, the sound stage is a bit average. Um, when I listen, the best imaging I got from it when I'm talking is about something like the drum kicks. Uh, because they have the bass, right? So boom, 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 boom. So you can hear that. Actually, it images very well when there is bass. You can hear the drum kicks on the right and left and so on. But when it gets to the vocals during rock songs, during to hip-hop, during R&B, during pop songs, even like Taylor Swift, uh, the vocals are, as I said, pulled back. So you cannot even... You're trying to listen to the vocals themselves. You cannot pinpoint the direction with ease uh, or easily as you can do that in the bass. Treble also is the same. It's just, it's there, it's good, but it's just a little bit um, covered up by the bass. Uh, so that's it. Would I recommend this? Uh, absolutely. If you like earbuds, and that's an asterisk, if you like earbuds and you know their sound and you are looking for an earbud with good bass performance, uh, a bassy sound signature uh, that is actually not sharp or sibilant, I highly recommend them for the price. They're very good, actually, for the build quality. They're excellent. They will last you a very long time. Cable is not exchangeable, but it's very sturdy, and they are comfortable in my ear. Um, for those of you who are looking for sound quality only, um, of course, like IMs will be a better fit and a better uh, solution, a better option, uh, if you will, in my personal opinion. Um, the isolation, the noise cancel, the noise isolation from them, the sound quality, the bass performance, the clean bass. You can find many IMs in this range. Even Moondrop itself, they sell the Chutu, which I highly recommend, and they give you that clear bass and give you the other frequencies. If you're a person who finds IMs uncomfortable and you like earbuds, would I recommend them for the price? Hell yeah, absolutely, absolutely, I recommend them. Just know that you're not going to get. A highly detailed I am, you know, with like clarity and vocals and so on. It will be everything is clean and clear, but with a focus on bass that carries on uh, over to the lower mid range. That's it, guys. Um, leave your questions down in the comment section below. Uh, like and subscribe to this channel if you like my content. Until then, see you in the next time. Take care. Bye.